Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday Recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a bit about my last week in games and as always we'll start with EVE Online which has definitely been a less than average week for me in EVE Online, didn't do that much, I did play the game every single day, got a couple of small exploration rounds in but uh, it was mostly focused on keeping my PI up and running, keeping my blueprint copies going which actually I've got a couple of longer um, BBCs that I'm making for uh, on uh, on this next round so really didn't have to do all that much and then just uh, making sure that I got the extra skill points of course for the skilling spree which uh, I actually got like uh, get 5 and get 10 uh, NPCs uh, decently often so I got a good chunk of uh, skill points again from uh, just playing the game every single day and at the moment uh, I'm actually working on those extra new drone skills that have come out uh, for uh, for the new modules that you can now uh, create as well uh, in EVE Online around drones so perhaps we'll uh, dive into that but of course those are quite rare you get to get into DMBs and things like that uh, but overall uh, uh, just a little bit of a, a maintenance week I would say for EVE Online uh, although there have been quite a few announcements there haven't really been any announcements just yet on the next quarter at the end of scarcity what CCP is planning for the development of EVE Online in-game instead all the uh, announcements have been uh, around uh, out out of game uh, events so we get the alliance tournament that's happening at the moment i managed to catch a little bit of that uh, definitely pretty interesting unfortunately some technical problems uh, there was uh, one caster that had like some real microphone problems came in uh, as a, a very robotic voice that was completely uh, not uh, understandable and, and then uh, the bot actually crashed as well i think when it comes to like the giveaways that they're trying to do through twitch chat but i think the atmosphere was definitely pretty good finally the alliance tournament is back you get I actually saw some some really nice matches a couple of close ones as well where all right finally uh, they managed to break something um uh, and and then you, everything snowballs into a lot of destruction so overall uh, definitely pretty cool so far let's hope that they can uh, you know learn from this experience and uh, fix the the bots uh, that they're using for twitch chats for the giveaways and for the betting and all of that stuff uh, because it does add a very uh, interactive dimension to an event like the alliance tournament so uh, yeah just uh, keep going and let's keep the alliance tournament alive i would say and then of course the uh, second uh, announcement is that FanFest is coming back next year should be in April um, definitely interesting uh, I hope I hope that they aren't jumping the gun there it is far enough away that uh, basically anything could happen in my opinion we could be in a much better spot uh, around the world especially in Europe for me personally then uh, when it comes to um, to the pandemic and so hopefully uh, it'll all work out but uh, you know at the moment here it's it's uh, winter is starting and uh, uh, we've got uh, definitely got like a fourth uh, a fourth peak that's happening here in Belgium for instance and I'm back to 100% work from home um, masks everywhere uh, I, I personally think that perhaps even more restrictions will be up and coming uh, to uh, through the winter but we'll see of course uh, it is in Iceland I think there they've got even better vaccine nation numbers than we do uh, and uh, as a result hopefully they can just get that going and even though not everyone uh, will probably or or might uh, be able to go and attend to a fan fest that that'll want to because of their local uh, situations uh, you know I personally would love to have another fan fest even if I have to watch it from um, from home uh, through their uh, twitch streaming because I love those talks there's you know always a trailer or a couple of trailers there uh, you know and some um some of their visions for the future where they show off some of the technology that they're working on for the graphics and for all of that type of stuff it's really really cool and we also quite often get quite uh, nice numbers on the economy and everything uh, giving you a nice idea as to what's happening in the game and for the development of the game so uh, the announcement is great uh, I just hope that it'll all work out of course and uh, other than that uh, for now really eagerly awaiting more news on the next quarter for EVE Online and on more development uh, but another game has caught my attention in the last week, I'll be honest. 
and that game is Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, awesome, awesome game. It was on sale uh, on Steam and I felt like, uh, you know, trying uh, something else that had amazing reviews. Uh, it's a type of game that I don't think I'd ever played before. I know that it is like a Baldur's Gate type game where you, you know, you, you put up a, a party. It's definitely an RPG, so uh, your, your characters level up, you get extra skill points, uh, and then you just, you know, increase your abilities, improve your gear. Uh, um, but it's all basically turn-based, uh, which is definitely very interesting. Uh, there are some quirks when it comes to controlling where your party moves. Sometimes they're doing some weird stuff all on their own. But overall, uh, I am having an absolute blast with the game. There are so many options uh, from different melee classes, range classes, assassin classes, and then a lot, a lot of magic. Uh, very cool story, amazing graphics. I really... Uh, you know, I uh, think the game looks absolutely awesome and I wish that we could go to like a horizontal view from the perspective of the characters uh, for a top-down game. I think it looks amazing and it would look absolutely great, I think, with a longer horizon. Uh, but in general, I'm just having a lot, a lot of fun exploring the game. I got like the first couple of hours uh, fully on video, just me experiencing everything for the first time. And after that, I'm switching to more where I'm expecting some cool events to take place and, and try to make a video on that. Uh, uh, but the game is absolutely terrible for someone like me that has altitis. I keep starting new characters with ideas for creating parties focusing on certain classes and certain abilities. Uh, so I really haven't gotten that far into the game. I got the first party off of the island. That is basically where I'm at. And then I explored a little bit on that continent news place wherever it is uh, but it's it's overall really really interesting very very cool it is a 2017 game uh, but you get a definitive edition uh, which does mean that it's also working absolutely beautifully not a single crash uh, everything is beautiful outside of some quirks that I think will be built in I haven't noticed any bugs or anything like that everything just works as intended although you have to learn uh, what exactly <laughs> some of the spells intend to do and things like that but it is really really awesome and uh, a, an amazing pickup uh, for me which I'm, I'm absolutely enjoying uh, and in the last week I've just basically been uh, constantly doing a little bit of EVE Online and then yeah I want to play Divinity Original Scene 2 trying to uh, break uh, through some barrier that uh, the game was presenting me and then after that I usually went to sleep with like all right what about a full ranger combo or what about uh, more melee with some knights and some healing <laughs> I'm just constantly, constantly trying to build up new parties, uh, making plans to start over again and just uh, exploring the game. It's absolutely uh, fun and uh, it's a genre that uh, is definitely on my radar now. Uh, I'm having a blast with Divinity Original Sin 2 and I'll probably uh, still be playing that for a little bit longer as well. And that was my last week in games, guys. Thank you very much for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.